Aloha. Let's see what comes out. <sighs> I've been feeling the vibes of people putting things that no longer matter to the side so they can create space and create energy to put it into a space that matters most. And I feel like a lot of people have been doing what they always wanted to do. Getting the job, making the moves. And we're still in the vibes of being patient with others because we never know what burdens they're carrying. We never know what contract they signed when they came onto this, into this physical realm. And, you know, I felt like I had so much to share with the people. And as of now, I'm just focusing my spiritual energies upon things that seem out of my control. I don't want to say that they are. They just seem, yes, one, 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 confirmation. They aren't out of our control. They may seem to be, but, you know, if we tap into our ancestors and focus our spiritual energies upon these things, we can, you know, clear paths for people that they didn't even know needed clearing, you know? Look at that. We have the owl card stepping into the light. You know, coming out, no more darkness, no more worry, no more fear. Just remaining really hopeful, having faith, doing the work. I'm seeing a lot of partnership energy in here as well. Owl speaks of the time of activity, individuality, and consciousness. Light emerges from darkness, play. Pay close attention to things in your daily life. How do you organize your life? What is your daily routine? What discipline do you practice? Practice. Do you see things as they are? Are there any behaviors? Are there any behaviors you engage in that keep you floundering through life in a stupor? How do you prevent your behaviors from becoming so habitual that you stop feeling and thinking? Are you moving through life reacting? Instead of acting, here are some exercises to try the next time. Let's see if I can make this go a little bit more down. There may, may be some mess down there, but my baby needs me. Um, let's see. Let me fix my chair. Okay. Rather than reacting, da, 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 the next time you try on blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is just about illuminating your life with the light of consciousness being conscious about everything you do every decision you make how you're feeling where you are how does it feel to be where you are just being conscious you know and i feel like even in my readings i become so annoyed with not having fucking time and it's like creating time or making do with the fucking time I have, you know, rather than fighting it off. Rather than making everything feel like a burden when it doesn't have to be, even. Especially when I'm doing, like, these, um, these readings like this, like, just live, free readings, you know? It doesn't have to be so professional I'm feeling especially if I'm becoming an entrepreneur because I want to be at home with my children so that doesn't mean I push them away especially when it comes to these free readings they're going to be around they're going to be making noise and I'm not going to be fighting it off and create like this special time you know like oh I gotta wait till my baby's sleeping no they're around they will be around and yeah it is what it is but like I said when there's personal readings I will make it more professional but for now Look at that. Both eyes are closed. Like, being okay. You know, getting justice in the things that you're manifesting. Getting justice for your manifestations. Getting justice for your visions, for trusting in your intuition. Getting justice for the things that you are blind to. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, getting justice for the things that were going on in the dark. Wow, the moon card instantly. Getting justice for the people that made you fear going on this path that you know spirit, the divines, were going to clear for you. The moon, what's hidden, but going into the unknown and going in, using your intuition. I'm also saying using your ability to communicate with the divine, with the moon, with the stars, with the ocean, the animals. Yes, look at that. It's like... <clears throat> When you have faith that they'll make a way, that they'll part the seas even for you. I'm seeing this as subconscious, you know, like this could have been dreamt about, fantasized about, like, please, divines, make a fucking way. Give me a way out of this mess. And it happened in the 5D first. Can you not, please? Can you not do that? God damn. Mm -mm. Shit. So it happened in the 5D first, and then now you can physically see it in the 3D. Your boats have arrived. Someone's coming to pick you up. Maybe you're fucking uh, getting a plane ticket to move out of a difficult space, to move past your fears and worries, and really go forward with the strength and ability to make wiser choices, to be in balance with your emotions. This kid, <laughs> I feel like somebody's like inner child was just like having fun with it, right? That's why they were able to come out of the dark space and just remain really hopeful. It's like even during the difficult times, like, you know, someone was still able to find their rhythm and like move and dance through the bullshit dance past the bullshit <sighs> yes temperance exactly somebody could be moving away from some sort of difficult situation some sort of heartbreak separation sadness during sagittarius season you know maybe in the past it was like you were focusing your spiritual energies upon getting yourself out of out of some, whatever it wasn't working, even if it's just a mindset, right? You're being called to new lands, to new surroundings, to start testing the waters, even in different careers, different things you're passionate about, right? I hope nobody can see what's going on on the other side of this camera because, yeah. Oh, shit. Heartbreak is off the table. Somebody's letting it go. Somebody's releasing, you know, something that doesn't fucking sit well with them. It could even be a third-party situation, right? Check, 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 check. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, the reason why I felt third-party, I'm seeing, like... I don't know. I'm saying it. That's why. Shit. Mm. Yeah. I felt like if there was, you know, whatever heartbreak, whatever sadness, even if it was a third party situation, you weren't allowing or you won't be allowing yourself to submerge yourself in the emotions. But you're going to allow it to move and flow and you're going to emerge from these. Things. Yeah, I yeah. again, right? It could be a new car. It's some sort of movement, some sort of relocation. Hi. Oh, okay. Are we done? Okay, I think we're done. I love you all. Someone's relocating, searching for long-term stability. 
release the control though if you're feeling called to stay if you're feeling called to go then do so controlling yeah i'm seeing you're taking the wheel this time you're taking the wheel so you can make wise investments okay along